This is Info Live TV Headline News. I'm Daniel Ben Nun. The resurgent issue of settlers assaulting Palestinians and Israeli security forces will top the agenda at Sunday morning's cabinet meeting as Prime Minister Ahud Olmert is seeking a forceful and resolute plan of action by the defense establishment, the police, and the justice system to halt any further escalation of the crisis. The meeting will be held after eight policemen were lightly injured in clashes with settlers on Friday and Saturday at the site of the Fetterman Farm outpost on the outskirts of Hebron. The outpost was destroyed by security forces last Sunday and then rebuilt by settlers, dozens of whom have been camping out there since then. All the injuries to border policemen and police were caused by stones thrown by settlement activists. Only one officer, a border policeman, required hospitalization. Last week, Barack instructed senior defense officials to increase the use of administrative injunctions against law bankers in the West Bank and further ordered the establishment of a committee to monitor settlement activity. Only days after telling Egyptian President Hosni Mubarak to quote-unquote go to hell, Israel Bay Tenu chairman Avigdor Lieberman spoke out against Egypt again on Saturday, suggesting that Cairo is waiting for an opportunity to start a war with Israel. In response to the comments, Defense Minister Ahud Barak released a statement calling Lieberman words an unjustified blow to the fragile and important peace treaty with Egypt, a strategic asset for the state of Israel. According to government sources in Jerusalem, Syrian President Bashar Assad has transmitted a message to Israel asking to renew indirect peace talks through Turkey. On Friday, Prime Minister Ahud Omert accepted the offer and began to set a date for the fifth round of indirect talks with Syria. In response, Foreign Minister Tsipi Livni called Omert's decision acceptable only if Omert confines the talks to issues of maintenance, but not if he aspires to make new decisions. Lebanon's military intelligence has captured two members of a spy network suspected of working for the Mossad since the 1980s. Sources said the network was operating for over 20 years and was responsible for mapping out the Bekaa Valley, including Syrian military bases, Palestinian sites, and Hezbollah outposts. The Lebanese military also accused the two men of being involved in intelligence gathering ahead of the assassination of master terrorist Umad Mugnia. The Hamas terrorist organization threatened on Saturday to boycott the upcoming reconciliation talks with Fatah, scheduled to commence in Cairo next Sunday. A senior Hamas official from the West Bank said that the terrorist group is considering boycotting the meeting if the wave of arrest operations against Hamas operatives by the Palestinian Authority security forces continued in the West Bank. He also called on the Palestinian Authority to release all Hamas members already taken into custody. Israel's airport authority revealed over the weekend that it is considering building a joint Israeli-Palestinian airport on the Poleg Beach south of Netanya. The airport would be jointly managed by Israel and the Palestinian Authority, and in order to facilitate Palestinian access, it would be connected to the West Bank via a tunnel. According to the reports, there are high-level talks about the proposal on both sides, and former British Prime Minister Tony Blair is also involved in the matter. Thank you for watching Info Live TV, Israel's only internet television channel that broadcasts in four languages from Jerusalem to the world.